There we have it. Iron Beast is just wow. sent a car flying. There's no way that you can troll past me like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Iron Beast. Yeah, yeah Bully Beast. <laughs> this scene is going to fly past me. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Beast here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into a bit more skin and paint design for trucks. In particular, we're looking at the updated version of the Cascadia RV for 1.43, which now includes skin templates. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you're like me and you liked this mod when it initially came out, you'll be super excited to be able to finally put custom paintwork onto this uh, mod. A while ago, I started UV unwrapping it, but it was a bit of a mission. The author had originally said that he didn't intend to unwrap it but here it is so today we're getting straight into it we're going to take a simple design like this one here which i've just pulled straight off the internet and put it onto our cascadia rv i'm going to be working left to right on this top layer here and then i'm going to be just duplicating that layer flipping it around fitting it to this side so we've got um, symmetrical paint job on each side which just makes it easy obviously once we've done the rv part of the paint then we'll have to go back in in game look at the track and see where these lines correspond on the track you know what we can actually do? We can actually just use this as a reference directly over the template. Start with our basic shape, and we can refine it all later. This is actually a pretty cool design. Quite a few intercept shapes and things going on, different colours, but I think we'll just keep black for now. Alright, so we've got some basic shapes done for the black for now. Okay. Alright, so we're into our light grey area here now. We've got a couple of lines here. Yeah, that's what we're after. That'll just break it up a little. Alright, how's that looking? Yeah, so just that one break there has made it already look quite good. I think we'll do the same with a black edging coming in here. Alright, a couple of extra custom lines in there just to sort of break that bit down. I almost feel like we need one bleeding into there as well. Flip that layer. Good to go. Alright, I guess we should really have a look what that looks like in game. Let's make our background white now. I think we're just going to copy the paint job straight in, that's easier. Upgrade paint job. This should be a test RV. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so that's easy. So we're just going to call these the original. And there's our DDS there. So we'll put into the test RV. There we have it, guys. That looks pretty swish, to be honest. That's really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up anyway, guys. It ends up being quite a nice design. Add a few touches of our own. Finish up the cab, and then we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so I've just finished up the rest of the wraparound for the cab. So let's have a look at the skin in the game now, see how it looks. There's our RV wrapped from the front of the cab, across the RV camp part, right around the back. Just got to tidy this line up here. And maybe I'll um, add some swirls and bits in here as well, something like that. But for now, that's it, nice and basic and good to go. Looks pretty sharp, you can see I've got a couple of other of my mods on here as well. Full bar on there. And I've also got a custom chrome visor there where I can put all the light fittings and pieces on it as well. But anyway guys, there you have it. It looks nice on the track. We're going to do a few more of these and make a series of them, make a pack I think. So just keep in touch with me on Discord once that pack's out. I don't release my stuff on the Steam Workshop. But yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below. Guys, do you like the look? I, I personally think it's pretty cool. I'm going to carry this onto the Featherlight trailer. I've got a quick mock up of the Featherlight trailer with the dolly so that I can tow it behind the camper. Yeah, very sharp, very nice and happy with it. So even though it's pretty simplistic, it looks quite striking. Look at this trailer, I've just quickly mocked up. It's not quite right, but you can see the dollies are 
a little bit misaligned for this particular trailer, but if we put it behind the truck, we can get a better idea of how it's going to look. There we have it. So you can see what I mean there. Not quite right. I mean, I've got the A variant variant of this dolly, which should have a drawbar down on an angle so that it doesn't pull the whole chassis of the dolly down like that, but that's okay. And then you can just see here the hookup point for the trailer there. It's a little bit high. But yeah, in my vision, I think it'll look quite good having that having that paint job carried right through along the featherlight trailer there. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, as usual, hope you found that little video interesting of me making the skin for the RV. Definitely looks pretty awesome. Something that's pretty easy to do yourself. If you've just got a bit of time and patience to do it. With the new edit version of this RV, all of the files and everything are there for you to just duplicate or replace the images and have your own skin on this truck pretty quickly but anyway guys that's going to be all for me for now please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so i know to keep making more of this kind of content for now guys that's all for me so i'm out till the next one take it easy